In this video I will show you how to connect a domain to your website on Dbytes. For those of you who don't already know this, Dbytes is a hosting service that allows you to create unlimited number of websites, databases, and email accounts for free. In the last video I showed you how to create a WordPress website, and today I will show you how to connect a domain to it. So let's start by opening the website we want to connect the domain to. If we go up to the address bar, we can see that the current address may not be what we want to use when the website is completely finished. I rather use this domain name instead, which does not work at the moment. To fix this we need to go back to our account on Dbytes. And here, we need to go to the website we want to connect our domain to, and press on connect your domain. This pop-up window explains exactly what you need to do to connect your domain. The first thing you need to do is go to your domain's DNS settings and create a new record that contains the IP of your website. You have the IP address to your website right here in the pop-up window. Perfect, the new record has been added successfully. So let's go back to our account on Dbytes because there was one more thing we needed to do. As we can see in the pop-up window, the last step is to enter the domain name right here. And finally press connect. Perfect, so now we've done what we needed to do, let's see if the domain connection works. As you can see it still doesn't work. When I refresh the page I get the same error as before. This is because it can take a while for the new DNS settings to take effect on the web. So let's wait about an hour and then we'll try this again. Now we've waited a while so let's refresh the page and see if it works. Perfect, now it works successfully. Another thing worth mentioning, if we press this little button right here, we can see that the connection to the website is secure. That's because Dbytes automatically creates an SSL certificate for your domain, so you don't have to deal with that either. And that's all for today's topic on how to connect a domain to your website. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like, and if you have any questions just let me know in the comments section.